So as you can see, the, the screen right now, the number one, number one, number one big factor that you know I am very concerned when we are talking about property investment is the entry price of a property. Now, very simple. You wouldn't want to buy something that's too expensive, right? You wouldn't want to buy something that is, you know, so expensive that you it's not easy for you to exit. So entry price is something that what we want to determine today, right, in this video. So I'm going to share with you um, how am I going to determine the entry price for a property before we actually, you know, uh, are keen to purchase it, okay? So for this instance, we'll be using a Sims Urban Oasis. Now, Sims Urban Oasis is a project that is probably two to three years back uh, when it was first launched. Uh, this is a project that I've been asking most of my clients to really look into, to invest. And why? Because during the time, you know, when I determine the, the entry price is really right. And for today, uh, I'll be using a three bedroom to do an apple to apple comparison between the surrounding projects. So that this is how we really determine whether, you know, whether this is the right price to buy. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is actually the MRT track, right? So one thing we want to know is what are the competitors. And as you can see, it seems Urban Oasis is a project that's just beside Arjuni MRT. So what we want to, to, to really try to analyze is what are the other projects that is nearby to the MRT stations and also what are their prices they are selling. So for this instance, we will be using Lavender MRT. Uh, and Pi Labor MRT and do a comparison between the projects, okay? Now, um, now you can see now the very, now this project is actually Kalam Riverside. It's actually, you know, uh, 20 minutes away from Lavender MRT, right? It's definitely not walking distance, but it's still, you know, probably 50 to 20 minutes, right? And, and, and for their three bedrooms, you can see that their sizes is around 106 square meters and it's around 1,140 square feet. Now from the floor plan, you can really see that, you know, as you enter, you know, this is the three bedrooms, right? Bedroom one, bedroom three, bedroom, you know, master bedroom, and you have the kitchen and you have the yard. So the size is 1,140 square feet. So how much does it cost? Now, as you can see, uh, in year 2018, this is the sizes, and the per square foot has actually reached to 2,000 over dollars PSF. So the, the, the minimum is actually what two thousand one hundred over dollars, and it reaches up to two thousand three hundred over dollars, and the quantum actually costs around two point four over million to up to two point six over million dollars, right? So to own a three bedroom in Kalang Riverside, it will cost you two thousand you know two thousand over dollars you know an average of two thousand two hundred dollars per square foot, and to afford it is actually two point five over million. So it's actually quite expensive, right? So in summary, you can see that this is the square feet, 1,000, the size, you know, and the PSF, 2,200, and around 2.5 to 2.6 million dollars to own a property. Now the next thing we want to see is another project, which is Katong Regency. And of course, I think this is much nearer to the MRT, which is Pa Leba MRT. Uh, walking distance, probably 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, Katong Regency is actually a mixed development. Because uh, the bot, uh, you know, the right below we have the shops, you know, shopping mall, and the above is actually the the the, the residence. So in terms of size, you know, one thing I just have to apologize, you know, because this image is a little bit not clear. But never mind, you know, I just walk you through. Um, a three bedroom actually, uh, typical three bedroom is actually one hundred and twenty nine square meters. The size is one thousand three hundred eighty nine square feet, so it's bigger in size. Now, as you enter, you know, this is the floor plan. You enter, this will be the kitchen, this will be the storeroom, this will be the yard area. They actually have three bedrooms as well. This will be the master. So, three proper bedrooms. Now, so how much does it cost, you know? So, for Katong Regency, uh, one thing you have to take note that I actually extracted the transactions transactions that happened in, you know, 2012. Uh, why? Because uh, in 2018, we really don't have any transactions at all. Uh, the latest was actually in 2017 and it already went up to 1500 over dollars per square foot so in 2012 in the year 2002 you can see that the transactions is also around 1400 over dollars per square foot and it reaches up to 1700 over dollars per square foot right and to own the project to own a three bedroom in katong regency it actually costs you around two two million over dollars two point 
you know, two two million and thirty four thousand, up to I think even two point two over million dollars, right? So if you really see my comparison chart, now the size is actually bigger than Katong, uh, sorry, Kalang Riverside. The however, the PSF is definitely much cheaper. Is actually you know one thousand five hundred fifty dollars per square foot, and it costs you know two point one to two point two million. Now one thing we have to take note, uh, the price in terms of PSF. Why there's a drop? Now because you have to understand that the 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 the, the transactions that actually took extracted is actually happened in two zero one two, whereas in Kalam Riverside it happens in two zero one eight. So there's a the the year difference, right? That's why this is you know two zero one two. Uh, during the time the pricing is cheaper, right? So now let's take a look at Sims Urban Oasis. Now this is the map. Sims Urban Oasis is actually a big development. It's probably one thousand over units, and I think in terms of you know uh, uh, MRT, you know it's definitely walking distance. I think probably just ten minutes you will reach Ajuni MRT station, right? Let's take a look at the size. Now, a proper three bedroom in Sims Urban Oasis is actually one thousand and thirty three square feet. Now, this is the floor plan that I extracted. Now, uh, as you can see, this is the main door entrance. As you enter, you have actually a dry kitchen and a wet kitchen, and this is the utility. We have three proper bedrooms, and you know this is actually one of the uh, premium three bedrooms in Sims Urban Oasis. So let's take a look at the pricing. Now. You can actually see, you know, um, that the the price, the PSF, actually costs you the cheapest is one thousand two hundred over dollars per square foot, and it reaches all the way up to one thousand four hundred over dollars per square foot, and the quantum, as in, uh, how much does it cost for a three bedroom? It actually ranges from one point three over million to actually one point four over million, and it seems quite affordable, right? So if we really look at the MRT track competitors, so this is something you really have to take note. Now, in Lavender, which is Katong, sorry, in Lavender, which is Kalang Riverside, the PSF is actually two thousand two hundred over dollars per square foot. Now, if we look at Paleba, is actually one thousand five hundred fifty dollars per square foot, and we look at Sims Urban Oasis, it actually costs much much cheaper, which is one thousand three hundred dollars per square foot. So just the MRT stops, you know, just the projects that is, you know, uh, at the MRT stations. And we are talking about just a few station stops. And we can see that the price difference, such a huge difference, right? So let's go back to the comparison. Now, as you can see in Sims Urban Oasis, this is the size. And the PSF is actually $1,300 per square foot. And to own the property of a three bedroom, it costs you much, much, much cheaper, which is one point three five to one point four million. And you can really see the difference in PSF. It's actually $900 cheaper than Kalang Riverside. And it's also $200, $250 per square foot cheaper in Katong Regency. In terms of quantum, it's actually $1.2 million much, much cheaper, right? And needless to say, $800,000 cheaper to buy uh, Sims Urban Oasis. Now, what is really important is this thing that I want to show to you. Now, if today you are an investor and you probably want to make just $200,000, you know, and of course, you can afford these three projects, which one do you really want to invest? Would you want to invest in Kalam Riverside, which costs you $2.5 to $2.6 million to own a three-bedroom? Or would you want to own a Katong Regency that costs you $2.1 to $2.2 million, right? Or would you rather want to buy a Sims Urban Oasis, that costs you 1.35 to 1.4 million. Because if you want to earn $200,000 of profit, in Kalang Riverside, you got to sell 2.7 to 2.8. And in Katong Regency, you got to sell 2.3 to 2.4. However, for Sims Above Oasis, I just have to sell at 1.5 to 1.6 million. So looking at this, which, which project, which investment, probably it will be more achievable if you really just want to look at the $200,000 profit. So this is something, you know, I really want to highlight, especially, you know, looking and determining, you know, you got to determine the, the, the entry price of a project. Now, in fact, um, somewhere in this uh, post, uh, I actually have a link that goes to my this uh, blog 
and I actually written an article that also you know goes deeper to talk about how you should be able you know how you can actually choose a right property investment right and 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 this you know I'll be talking about not just entry price but a lot more factors for you to look at it right so um, you know with that I really thanks you for watching this video and I hope this video really benefits you and one thing you really remember, you, you got to remember is entry price is something that, you know, you want to determine whether this is a good project investment for you to buy. So with that, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to hear you soon. Thanks.